In February, five people were found dead in a Commerce City apartment from suspected fentanyl overdoses. And this was just one incident. We're almost at three Coloradans a day die from a fentanyl overdose. Uh, treating this thing like it's marijuana or treating it like it's a speeding ticket is offensive to the value of human life. Former DA George Brockler was one of several people discussing the impacts of fentanyl on Colorado communities in this virtual discussion. Fentanyl kills, period, more than any other drug that we have seen in a long time. And if we don't start treating it like the killer it is, it will continue to kill in greater and greater numbers. Under current state law, possession of up to four grams of fentanyl is a misdemeanor. But he and former Denver DA Mitch Morrissey both believe any illicit fentanyl possession should be a felony. We really need to treat fentanyl differently. Fentanyl is a dangerous and deadly substance, and it needs to be treated as such. They say this is not an effort to felonize addicts, but a way to introduce them to monitored sobriety and treatment. We have done this for decades and didn't have good outcomes. But people like Christy Donner, the executive director of the Colorado Criminal Justice Reform Coalition, say this is just a failed policy from the past. It's just old. We need the hammer. We need to lock people up and continue to fight a failed drug war that we know doesn't work because we have 40 years of evidence of it.